We're hey live. guys. Hello everybody. Hello Good everyone. Good afternoon. How is everyone today? You're all well. <laughs> Very welcome to our focus. Mm, welcome. So my name's Ruby. I'm a teacher at uh, Bologna 2, Emilia Levante. I am Australian and I moved to Italy in January of this year um, and I started teaching at MyS in, in February. Um, so yeah, tell us, introduce your, yourself to us as well. Nice to meet everyone. Tell us your name in the comments and where you're from introduce yourself so my name is michael i am from ireland i live in bologna as well ruby work in the same school mm -hmm. i've been in italy since september i'm 25. Mm -hmm. anything else it's a beautiful sunny day here in bologna it is it's beautiful we are staying inside staying mm -hmm. safe exactly mm. yes. Okay. So today we're doing tongue twisters. Yeah, this should be fun. Should be fun. Do you like tongue twisters? Um, yeah, I do actually. I think they're interesting. Mm. Not easy, but not easy, no. Fun to try. I think it will be interesting with our different accents. Yes, that's to hear true. the attempts. That's yeah. true. Yeah. I'll be interested to hear the Irish um accent in some of them yeah should be good let's have a in this focus activity doing mm. tongue twisters speak idioms mm. and phrasal verbs with talk and speak ah oh, my favorite phrasal verbs Fras well, yeah so i used to like phrasal verbs you used before to like i started <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're teaching, I don't like them. They? They're, yeah, they're difficult. They're confusing. Yeah. They're confusing. And sometimes you have to think about them and why they mean these things. And it's, it's true. For a native speaker, they can be uh, even difficult to explain. Yes. Especially to explain them without using another phrasal verb. <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. <laughs> happens they a lot. Similar to this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So true. Right. So here we have some tongue twisters. Okay. Can you say the following quickly and correctly? I'm going to try the first one. Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascals ran. How did I go? Right. Okay. Pretty good. It's a bit slow, but it's good. A bit slow. Oh, okay. Hmm. I'll try fast. Okay. All right, let's see how you, fast you go, Michael. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Around the rugged rocks, the ragged rascals around. Okay. That's pretty good. That was very good. Okay, yeah. much better than mine. With a tongue twister, though, you have to try and get it as fast as you can. Okay. Make it more difficult. All right, let me try better this time, okay? Number two, we surely shall see the sunshine soon. Faster? That was good. Better? Okay. Mm. Let's see how you go. I don't like this one. We surely shall see the sunshine soon. Mm. No, you said, soon. you said soon. Soon. We surely shall see the sun. Mm. Too slow. I'll go again. Boom, you lose. <laughs> we surely shall see the sunshine soon. I can't do that one. How slow were you? I, even when I'm slow, I can't do it. We surely shall see the sun shine soon. So we surely shall see the sun shine soon. Even so then, maybe the S different. sound is something hard, harder for you. Yeah, I think so. Maybe S and the S heritage. Maybe the way the tongue moves with the accent could change how difficult it is. Mm. All right, I'll try the third one. Red. Oh God, I've already factored. I'm. I've already, <laughs> I've already messed it up. 
I've already messed it up. Red leather, yellow leather, red yellow leather. Nah. That one's hard. Damn. This one is nonsensical as well. It doesn't I mean know. anything. Yeah. Let's see how you go. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Okay. That was much better than mine. Uh -huh. That was easier. Let me, tr I want to try one more time. Go again. Go again. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. That's, was that was good, but. Too slow? slow? It's, it's a bit slow. It's a bit slow. Okay. That's a hard one. Mm. Okay. I wonder where it comes from. It doesn't mean much. Though. No. It's silly. They're all I've never heard it before. I've heard it once or twice, but it's silly. It doesn't mean anything. Mm. Oh, number four. Okay. He threw three free throws. Almost. Mm. That's hard. He threw I think this is going to be more difficult for me. The TH. Okay, let's see. Let's hear it. He threw three free throws. That was fine. That was all right. Yes. In the Irish accent, really pronounced the, the TH. The, yeah. The, we I just kind of heard tree instead of three, but I'll let you, I'll let you off. You let me off, thanks. I heard he threw three, 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 three. three. Three, three throws, three, three throws. That's hard. Mm. English people, the, they yeah. like to get Irish people to say 333. Ah, okay. Yeah. So 333. That's like um, we always get people from New Zealand to say fish and chips because they say fish and chops. Fish and chops. Russian shops, or then they say six, it sounds like sex. So it's like, say six, <laughs> yeah, that's sex. Like, not six. Say six, they're like, sex. <laughs> anyway. Is it much different, the accent between New Zealand and Australia? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I say, yeah. Able to tell oh, fish and chips, and they say, fish and chops. <laughs> Fush and chops, That's exactly how they sound like. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Okay, the last one. Um, the sixth, six shelks, six sheep is sick. What? Shy. <laughs> is that sheik or shy? Sheik, yeah. Ooh. I think it's a sheik, like, a, um, like an Arab sheik. Oh, okay. The sixth, six sheep, six sheep is sick. That's really hard. That is difficult. Yeah. Plus, I don't sixth, understand it. Sixth sheep. Sixth sheep is sick. Mm -hmm. Sixth six sheep. Six sheep is sick. Mm -hmm. Sixth six sheep. Six sheep is sick. Ooh. What it does is, that mean? <laughs> this, the shikes, the shake shikes, shakes, shakes, six. I would. Sheep is sick. <laughs> the sixth sheik who is sick, his sixth sheep is also sick. Ah, okay. The sixth <laughs> sheep. So there's six sh sick sheiks. Yeah. <laughs> his sixth sheep is sick. Is sick. <laughs> what a coincidence. Yes. <laughs> oh, they're hard, and they get they harder hard. as they go on along. I think so, yeah, yeah. Although I struggled with number two. Yeah, I think that's your well. I think in one, the, the coming ones, we'll see how well you do with the sh sound, the famous tongue twister. I think I know that one. Yeah. Yeah, the most well-known tongue twister is coming. Have a look. Oh, some long ones. Mm. Oh, long ones. Oh, okay. Do you want to try, Mike? I'll try the first one. Okay. Yeah. I'll read it slowly once and then okay. I do it fast. Yeah. That's good. 
<clears throat> Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper pip picked? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That's difficult. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> Peter Piper picked a peck of Peck of pickle peppers, a peck of pickle peppers, Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle peppers, where's the peck of pickle peppers Peter Piper picked? Wow, that was really fast. That was, yes, but I don't think I got any of the words right. That was really, yeah, but that was really quick. Hmm. I'll have a, I'll have a go. I'll, I'll, I'll try and say it fast. Um, hmm. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Yeah, I smashed it. That was pretty good, yeah. I smashed it. <laughs> I think maybe the P is not that hard, not as hard. Yeah, because it's like a hard, it's a P. P, yeah, P. Yeah. P. You're putting your lips together. Yes, yeah, so you nearly restart every time you go. Yeah, so it's a bit easier. It, yeah, differentiates. Yeah, differentiates. Differentiates. Exactly. Then we've got uh, this the one. famous one. Yeah, this is the most famous tongue twister, I think. I think so. Have a go. Okay. <laughs> she sells. She sells on the seashore. The shells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells seashore sells. Mm -mm. I heard a few mistakes. Not very good. Uh, a few, yeah. Shells instead of shells. Mm. Yeah. I think yeah, the SH sound is hard for you. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's an Irish thing. I think it might be just me. <laughs> <laughs> You're special. <laughs> Let's see, we'll see how I go. We'll see how I go. Um, she sells sea cells on the seashore. The cells she sells are surely seashells. So if she sells shells on the seashore, I'm sure she sells she saw shells. I said That's pretty good. I said seesaw, not seashore. Yeah. I said seesaw. But apart from that, I think that was. I, yeah. yeah. I definitely Better said seesaw shells. It's difficult when they're that long as well. It's hard to keep focused on every word. The the tongue twisters are like exercises for your mouth, yeah, and your tongue almost. Because I notice at the end, I'm like, oh, my tongue is tired. <laughs> like mm. from some um, performers or actors use them to. That's true. Yes, that's very enunciation. True. Mm. That's very true. I. That's true. I didn't think of that. Yeah, those are two really long and hard ones. Yes. The other famous one, the the woodchuck. Oh yes. How much? How much wood a woodchuck chuck? If a how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Mm. Yeah. I think the the uh, tongue talk about tongue twisters, but um, I think. <laughs> Those ones, because you know them from your childhood as well. Yeah. You're used to saying them like the seashells I've been saying since I was a kid. And the Yeah, wood. everyone I I can get that first line. Yes. She because sells she sells on the seashore. That's the main one. Um yeah. and then yeah, and then you would the woodchuck one as well. I would say you know, we learnt when we were kids, so we're used yeah. to yeah, agreed. But they are for children's games or just games in general for fun. Yes, yeah, definitely. Pronunciation, mm. to learn pronunciation, they're really important. Yeah. yeah. But they're difficult for everybody, even native speakers. So. Yes. Oh, yes. Definitely. Definitely. All right, what's All right. next? Oh, tongue tied. Tongue tied. I get tongue tied a lot. Yeah. Really? When do you get tongue tied? Just um, in general conversation? Or? Yes, pretty much. 
during my lessons I'm more or often like blah, 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 let me start again yeah do that <laughs> I have to say because my brain is kind of one step ahead from my mouth yeah because you've slowed down your speech a bit yeah, yeah and I get mumbled so <laughs> we have some expressions here with tongue and mm. I guess yeah expressions about speaking or um so we've got cat got your tongue mm. bite your tongue mm. on the tip of my tongue yeah a tongue lashing that sounds a good one. irish yeah it uh, sounds normal to me but it's fun. <laughs> yeah the the lashing lashing, lashing. uh <laughs> tongue in cheek Yes, definitely common phrases used to describe mm. if there are different difficulties with speaking. And then we have the uh, meanings on the other side and we have to match them up. So we've got an expression mm. used to get someone to speak. Mm -hmm. You are sure you know a word or answer but have difficulty remembering it. When someone stops themselves from saying what they really think. A remark that is meant to be funny or ironic. A severe verbal scolding. Scolding. Ooh, scolding. It's another scolding. good word. Yeah. It's a good word. So what verbal do Verbal scolding. What do we think t cat got your tongue means? Mm. Mm. If anyone wants to let us know in the comments. Yeah, let us know. What they think we can match up these idioms with their definitions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cat got your tongue. Mm -hmm. mm. Cat got your tongue. Well, what, what do you think, mean? Mike? What do I think? Well, if a cat has your tongue, yeah, probably means your tongue is not in your mouth, so you have difficulty speaking. Yes, I think so. So maybe the maybe the first one, an expression used to get someone to speak. Yeah, because the way it's a question, you're saying it to somebody. Yeah. Why aren't you speaking? So Exactly, yeah. Oh, yeah. So they're being very quiet. Yeah. And then you say, cat got your tongue. Is that why you're not saying anything? Yeah, I think so. I think the first one, an expression used to get yeah. someone to speak. Yeah. I agree. Very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How about the tongue? Right. Bite your tongue. Ouch. I hate it when I bite my tongue. Oh, yes. Um, it's very nice. I think uh, I don't know. What do you think? Well, if you can imagine, like, Biting your tongue. Yeah. It's difficult to speak when you yeah. bite your tongue. It has to be, I think, when someone stops themselves from saying what they really think. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So when you stop yourself speaking, when you hold back your opinion, yeah. bite your tongue. Yeah. I've heard it used in an in another in another sense as well, like yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to explain it. Um, if if you say something that's um, I'm trying, okay, I'm trying to think of an example. Okay, if I said. The quarantine period will extend to September. 
someone to me might say, bite your tongue. Like, don't say uh, that. Okay. Yeah. In case it happens. Have you heard it in that way or just me? No, not really. Okay. Maybe it's an Australian yeah. thing. Maybe. But. I've only used it for, like, to stop someone saying something yeah. before they say it. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Sure interesting. Okay, yeah, you can use it for when after they say it as well. Yeah, that's how I've like bite your tongue, like don't say that, like like stop. Yeah. Kind of, you know, in case it comes because you don't want that to come true. So yeah. it's like don't say it. I'm trying to think what would we say? Yeah, I would I would use like bite your tongue as in you were in a situation where you wanted to say something, but then okay. you say, oh, no, I had to bite my tongue or uh, okay. I bit my tongue. Would you say I bit my tongue? Yeah. Okay. See, I wouldn't use it in that, in that sense. Yeah. In the past, I bit. I would only say... Um, so you would only use it as a, a reaction to something? Um... Yeah, I guess so. Or I would or I would say I had to bite my tongue. Yeah. But I don't know if I'd use it in the past sense to say oh, I bit my tongue. Because to me that literally means I bit my tongue. Like literally. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> I suppose in the context though of the conversation. Yeah, yeah that's true. You would be true. able to differentiate. Mm hmm So our next uh, one is on the tip of my tongue. Well, this one I use all the time. Yeah, this is a very common one. Yeah, definitely, definitely. It's on the tip of my tongue. Mm -hmm. Like you, it's there. You can almost say it. It's on the tip. You're like, it's almost out of my mouth, but yeah. I can't you remember. just can't. Yeah. yeah. I just can't remember that last, that last bit to get it out. Yeah, it's very. You are very, sure you know a word or answer. Yeah. Bring it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Happens and a lot. This. Second. Um, if you're doing it, yes. someone asks you. A mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Now I can't read it. That screen gone quite blurry, yeah? Yes, I was like, feel like I'm doing an eye test mm. at the optometrist. <laughs> They're like, read, <sighs> read the top it. line. And I'm like, uh, I can't, I see, can't see it. it yeah, yeah. <sighs> I will How refresh strange. it. Okay. I'm trying to remember what the what was after. It's on the tip of my tongue. We had cat got your tongue. Um was it uh, tongue, tongue lashing? Tongue lashing was next. Tongue lashing. Tongue lashing. Yep. Okay. Well, I Is the screen clearer now, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, a lashing, that sounds awful. So. Yes. The lashing is like with a whip. Well, the whip, that's lashed. what I think of. Something that hurts mm. or is painful or is not pleasant. Yeah. So a severe verbal scolding doesn't sound pleasant at all. So I'm thinking. But to scold. Yes. To well, burn, isn't it? To burn, yes. I guess here yeah. the scolding is verbally, not physically. Yeah. Yeah. I would use the uh, scolding like exclusively verbally. Okay. Like uh, my parents gave me a scolding or I teacher think... really scolded me. I think maybe it's quite English. Do you yeah, think? Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Or Irish. 
or Irish, yeah. Somewhere you in don't the, use it in Australia, no? United Kingdom. Um, Ireland's not, not in the United Kingdom. Oh, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> should be. <laughs> oh, geez. I don't know. They're speaking. <laughs> Look, geography. So does Australia. Geography is oh, not my strong point. <laughs> I'll give you a, a political history lesson someday. <laughs> After, yeah. Okay. No, because scolding sounds like something my grandma would say. It's yeah, so, it's, it's definitely something my parents said. Yeah, not even my mom, like my grandma, who's like 98. <laughs> I think she would, she used to tell me she'd wash my mouth out with soap. Yeah, I used that a lot as well. A swear word. Mm. Cut swear, yeah, so, yeah. I don't know. Um, okay, now last uh, idiom is tongue in cheek. I like this one. It's another very common one as well. Yeah. Well, we, yeah, very common. And we only have one option left, but it is kind of a weird saying tongue in cheek. Like, it doesn't really make sense to the I, meaning I've at all. Thought, I've always thought it's when, like, it's a remark that it's meant to be funny or ironic. I was like, when you make a funny remark and you try and stop yourself from smiling, you can go, on. <laughs> you know, you, if you smile, and you, <laughs> you look like that's what I thought in my head. You. you look like you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Like, well, it's not just smiling. I never, I never thought of it like that, but okay, mm. yeah. I don't know. I've, I've never really thought about it, but that's what always was in my the image in my head was that. My I I hadn't thought of it like that, but I think you have a point. Yes, it could be. Mm. It makes it does make sense, kind of. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Makes some sense. Yeah. Yeah. Remark that's meant to be funny or ironic. Yes. Yeah, so very commonly used. We would say, yeah, it was a tongue in cheek remark. Or so I've heard mm -hmm. it been said as well. Um, he said it in tongue in cheek or with tongue in cheek. Okay. Ever heard that? No. Mm, like not the remark really. was made in tongue and cheek. No, I haven't really heard it used like that, to be honest. Mm. You just hear um, it's a tongue and cheek remark. Oh, I would say, um, uh, yeah, I don't know how I say it now. It sounds funny if I <laughs> try and use it. I said yeah. it in cheek. Or that's why I said it in it, tongue in cheek. Or, or I might just say it, it was tongue in cheek. Yeah. Yeah. Just for it was mm. ironic or funny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, silver tongue. Try to find the meaning of these silver tongues. Context. Ah, oh, okay. I have such a crush on him that when I try to talk, I get tongue-tied. Okay. Um, try to find the meaning of these expressions from their context. Well, she might be embarrassed or um, What nervous. does it mean to have a, a crush on someone? when you have romantic feelings for someone, when you like someone, you think they're attractive, maybe you want to date them. Yeah, you have a crush. It's a good expression as well, to, to have a crush. Yeah. Yeah, that's another phrasal verb, crush on, because mm. you're not actually crushing them. 
No, hopefully not. <laughs> hopefully not. Um, yeah, so when you maybe get nervous and you don't know what to say and the words don't come out properly. So you get tongue-tied. Tongue as if there is a knot in your tongue yeah. and you just can't speak properly. Yeah, you can't speak. Maybe you're, you just kind of freeze. And yeah, like that can happen. Sugar, what do I say? Uh, and you just don't say it's anything, maybe. Yeah. You just kind of freeze so up. To have difficulty expressing yourself because you are nervous or embarrassed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kind of what I said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good one here. Slip of the tongue. Slip I meant to say hi, Bob. But instead, I said, by hub. <laughs> oh, yes. I do this tongue. all the time. Yeah. Mm. I do this all the time. When you mix up the letters in the words or you say the words yeah. in the wrong order, um, that happens to me a lot. When or I'm, even. Yeah. When I. Um, small things when you're like. Yeah. Like saying. You're welcome instead of thank you or yes. hello instead of goodbye. Or... Yes. Or if I'm uh, thinking of two words that I want to say and I mm. say a combination, the wo one word comes out combination of the two. So here I that, might yes. say, I don't know, bi or something, B-I or bo. You're thinking <laughs> Two words, and then you go to say one, and it comes out half half of the first word, half of the other one, or it just doesn't make sense at all. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's more likely. Yeah. Nonsensical rubbish. Yeah, slip of the tongue. You didn't mean to yeah. say it. Doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah, something you didn't mean to say. I think that's a good one. Small spoken error mistake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Then we have this one. The boss is in a bad mood. I would hold your tongue. Oh. Mm. Hold your tongue. Yes, I would. I think this is where where I was using bite your tongue earlier. I think I yeah. see or I have heard bite your tongue used in this um, maybe situation. Yeah, I think it's very similar to, to bite your tongue. Yeah, where you, you shouldn't speak or it's not a good thing to say or not the right situation to say something because the boss yeah. is in a bad mood. So don't bring up anything negative. Today's not the day for it. It's not worth it. Just mm -hmm. stay quiet. Yeah, it's not worth it. I think so. Similar to bite your tongue, I think, yes. I think so. Yeah, just stay silent. I, and stay in yeah, stay silent. I think that's... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, similar. Yeah. Lots of good sayings there, expressions, idioms, mm. tongue tied, good idioms. Gift of the tongue, yeah, good. A gift of the gab. Oh, in what mm. situations do you find it difficult to bite your tongue? Why is it difficult? What do you, what mm. do you think, Mike? Oh, um, I definitely find when. When someone is saying something that I know is wrong, okay, but they're yeah. they're saying it very matter of fact and yes, very I, confidently. Yes. Yeah. I, I enjoy then telling them that they're wrong. So. Yes, I agree. I'm a Taurus, so I'm very stubborn, and yeah. if someone I thought you said Taurus. Well, I kind of am a tourist as well. Yeah. Taurus. I mean the, the star sign thing. The star sign, the bull. 
the uh, I'm a Torian, so I can't hold back if I think some. Well, it's Torian. I I can't hold back. Like in I'm like, no, you're wrong. <laughs> you're wrong. Mm. Um, also situations where I feel like um someone is being done hard by if that makes sense or a sense of like injustice to someone yeah like if I saw someone being mean to someone on the street yeah I disrespecting would find being rude yeah I would probably find it hard not to tell them to stop politely of course um but I've definitely I'm better at holding my tongue now, or bite. Yeah, biting my tongue. I, yes, yeah. I think so too. I yeah. think when you're younger, yes, it's yeah. a lot of people are yeah. voice their opinion more. Mm -hmm. You need to learn. You learn how control. to yeah control yeah. your tongue as you get older. Yeah. And decide if it's worth having the argument or not. That's right. Pick your battles, they say. Exactly, yes. Good one. Pick your battles. Yes, yes, yes. But when I, after a few drinks, sometimes I find it difficult to hold ah, my tongue as well. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Of course. Liquid curry. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're like, now's a good time to bring up that. <laughs> Thing that, I really thing that happened uh, two years ago. <laughs> go and tell you everything you did and why it <laughs> It's so true. Never For, a good idea. Yeah. I think as well, just when you're when I'm upset as well, you're just in the heat of the yeah. moment in an argument or having a fight with someone, like especially uh you know boyfriend or girlfriend um yeah it can be hard to control to bite your tongue because you're angry and you're emotional yeah mm. number two when was the last time you gave someone a good tongue lashing did Ooh. they deserve it why or why not oh Wow. I don't know. It's not in it's not really in my nature generally yeah. to 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 give someone a tongue lashing. Um but maybe maybe last year or something. I would I mean I would never my friends, I would never um, give them a good tongue lashing. I would never need to. Yeah. You know, um, maybe. I would probably some, say to my mm. friends when I would. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Just because yeah. I feel, you feel more comfortable, you know, if I give out to him, he will yeah. forgive me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No, my friends. Um, I mean, I never fight with my friends, really. And if we, d and if if we did, it was not. Um, I wouldn't say I gave them a tongue lashing. We would yeah. talk about it. Yeah, tongue lashing is pretty ex yeah. extreme. Yeah. Like we would talk at like adults, mat mature and stuff. But um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can yeah, I can think of a situation a few years ago on the bus and some idiot was being really rude to this young girl and I'd say I gave him a tongue lashing and he definitely deserved mm. it because he was being racist and just a not a very nice person. I think yeah that's a good time to speak up. Yeah. To but otherwise not it, hold your tongue. Yeah. Otherwise it's um not in my nature. Yeah. You're not confrontational. No, no. That's yeah, no, no, no. And we have as well. Have you recently been tongue-tied? What did it feel like 
what caused you to be tongue-tied? Mm, well, we said tongue-tied was um, when you can't speak. When yeah, you, so when you're, you're like nervous or embarrassed. Yes, yes. Um, for me, I think... I haven't been tongue-tied in that sense recently. I, I agree with the example on the previous slide when you're talking to someone that you really like or mm. someone you find really attractive. Um, as well, if or, if or when you met someone famous, I would be tongue-tied then for sure. Um, oh, that's a good example. Yes, I met someone who is in a band that I liked ever since I was a little girl. Mm. And um, I was in the situation where I met them and I was tongue-tied. I didn't know what to say. I was nervous. I felt... Um, kind of silly i guess like yeah yeah i've never really met someone famous so. i mean this person isn't really that famous but they're but in an for you though yeah. For me, yeah they're in an australian band that i love 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 so did you meet them at a at a gig a concert no i didn't i didn't meet them at the at a gig it was a bit awkward because i met them at work when I was a nurse and they were my patient. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. So was, as well, the situation yeah. was very. You had to be professional. You had to be professional. Um, mm. Yeah. So it was, it was a very weird situation. Do I, do I tell the person, do I tell them that I, have you know loved their band since I was <laughs> yeah. they're my patient in the hospital <laughs> so but anyway it worked out fine and he would did um, you tell them that you were a fan yes I have a tattoo okay. for, of the from the band that's oh, wow. okay. to the band so I, sh I show you in the tattoo <laughs> and he loved it <sighs> that's good yeah yeah he I didn't just embarrass it out too much so no, 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 no. He was very. Um, Australians are very usually very easygoing. So yeah. no, he was. He loved the tattoo, and he was, um, yeah, really pleasant. But I was, I was tongue tied. I felt, yeah, all nervous and oh, like a schoolgirl, very nervous. Yeah, blushed, embarrassed. Yes, very. Have you? ever felt like that tongue-tied michael i'm sure i have many a time yeah um yeah usually trying to talk to women yes it totally. goes well yeah yeah it's it's usually the the first couple of sentences are okay and then i can't think of anything i'm like oh no <laughs> yeah yeah i think and then once really... you if you start thinking about it you're oh, like, yeah. no yeah you're never gonna be able to talk again <laughs> yeah Oh, I, I look like an idiot. Yeah. yeah. But often the other person can't even tell. Yeah, that's, it's all mostly in your head. In your head, yeah. Yeah. But it doesn't happen. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Mm. Okay, so here we have some phrasal verbs. We talk oh, or speak. To, to speak. What do we up. think they mean? Mm, to speak. Mm. Mm, this is a bit of a tricky one because we have the preposition up. Yeah. But are we speaking up, like up to the sky? <laughs> no. No, not really. Where um, I think we're, we're saying something when... Maybe no one else will. Yeah. Or so, like, if you're at a meeting and someone says, if anyone else has a better idea, speak up. 
Yeah, so to give yeah. your opinion. To... Yeah, to give your opinion. Yeah. Express your opinion. Yeah. Good, yeah. And to speak to out. Speak out. How to speak out. Mm. Yes, out. Are we speaking speak out? out. <laughs> we usually speak out against something. Yes, that's true. Yes, so to, we uh, to stand up against. Oh, that's another phrasal verb. <laughs> um, yeah. To to give to disagree and to give your opinion against something. Yeah, so that maybe you disagree with to protest something. Mm. Usually we speak out against something, so we might speak out against um, animal cruelty or yeah. envir yeah. environment. Yeah, or the government. Or yeah, the government, yes, exactly. Usually. Yeah. So to publish in protest. Yeah. Um, yeah, okay. And to speak your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, I think to say what you think without holding anything back. Yeah, give your honest opinion. Give your honest opinion, yes. Exactly what is in your mind, it's on your brain. Yes. Yeah, to speak yes, your honest Tell people what you think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think, yes, what you think honestly, like you said, Michael. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So not yeah. to hold back. Yeah, to, yeah, not hold back. Another phrase of her. <laughs> I know. They, they, they're impossible. To, they're everywhere. Yeah, they're I know. Everywhere. <laughs> to talk back. Mm hmm Well, to talk back. It's yeah. I did this and a someone lot. Someone has said something to you, and then you are. Yeah, I did this a you lot. You did it as a child. Yes, lots of in a lot of trouble for talking back. <laughs> for usually, you reply quickly and often rudely. Yeah, it's something that so, children do a lot before they. Yeah, usually to someone in authority as well, or usually to power. someone in authority. That's true. Yeah. So to reply rudely talk to back. someone, yeah. Yeah. Often I talked back to the teacher at school. Yeah. I think we all did. Yes. Yes. And to talk, talk down to someone. Down to someone. Yeah. So we're not actually talking down unless no. they're unless we're talking to a midget. <laughs> I don't think you're allowed to say that. <laughs> midget? I don't really? Think. A short person? <laughs> a small person? <laughs> two yeah. things you shouldn't have said now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're not talking down to a shorter person. We're uh, talking to someone like they are less than us or they're not as good. Mm as us yeah do you agree speak with someone as though they are less important than you are yeah exactly yeah you yeah. kind of think of like metaphorically you think mm -hmm. you are better than them so you are above them and you're yes. talking down to them mm. yeah to patronize yeah. someone talk down. patronize that's a good word i love yeah. that word yeah and lastly, we have to talk someone into, well, that's mm. to convince someone, isn't it, really? To convince yeah. someone to do something? Yeah. Do you think? Mm -hmm. You can get talked into doing something that yes. maybe perhaps initially you didn't want to do and then yeah. you, someone convinced you. Yes, I mm. agree. Yeah, good. You can get talked into some bad situations. Yes. Yeah, sometimes it's something With these, mm, It's, yes, yeah, usually not very positive. Yes. You were talked into maybe stealing something when you were young because the 
Mm-hmm. The older kids talked you into it. Cooler kids. Yeah, peer pressure. The kids, peer pressure. Well. All right, we, guys. Yes, we have hit our time, so we're all done. Yeah, we learned a lot. Lots of good phrasal verbs, lots of idioms yeah. and tongue twisters. Tongue twisters, yeah. Yeah. I'll have to practice, I think. But. Yes, me too. Mm. I'll have to practice being more appropriate. <laughs> <Are you okay? laughs> all right so, all right guys thanks very much for watching yeah. bye guys <laughs>